Yeah! It's going through! It's working! It's cooling! It's cooling! Hey guys, so I just got an old AC unit, and in this video, we're gonna be converting it to a water cooled AC unit. I'm gonna be converting this air cooled AC unit to a water cooled one via this liquid to liquid heat exchanger. Let's get started. So I got this used air conditioner, and I think it's gonna work great. Let's turn it on. to install the heat exchanger. Cool beans. Well, if it wasn't obvious, we didn't really need the fan. So what we have left of the AC unit is the compressor over here, the fan motor to cool, and the evaporator over here. And that basically just evaporates the cold liquid that goes inside. Now, let me teach you a little bit about the AC cycle if you don't already know. So the AC cycle looks something like this. Let me break this down for you. Here we have the compressor, it pumps your refrigerant up and into the radiator and of course when you pressurize the gas, it generates heat. Now the, the hot gas goes into here and this motor which has a fan on both sides, this fan blows cold air through the condenser which obviously with the name condenses the hot gas into a semi-cold but room temperature liquid. Then the room temperature liquid goes down here, still pressurized at a great amount through a capillary tube and a capillary tube is used to regulate the amount of flow going through so the compressor can keep up. Now the high pressure liquid and gas goes through your capillary tube at a metered rate and that is determined by how long your capillary tube is and how thin it is. And that liquid just shoots into your evaporator which is obviously going to evaporate that liquid and by evaporating that high pressure liquid a, a, in a low pressure environment which is uh, made by the vacuum side of the compressor, you have liquid refrigerant boiling off which is obviously gonna cool your evaporator. And that just blows cold air into your room. And there you are. And you're happy that your AC works. Yeah. Well, shit, over. <laughs> <laughs> this fancy little doohickey cycle is called the uh, heat pump cycle. And it applies to refrigerators, ice makers, air conditioners, your dog, your cat. So quick recap, we have a compressor here pumping down the low side to about one atmosphere, then pumping the high side to something like 20 or 30 atmospheres, which creates hot gas. That gas gets cooled down by the cooler here that shoots hot air out. And then the cold gas is turned into a liquid, goes through a capillary tube, capillary tube meters the flow. The flow of now cooled liquid goes through, expands, gets even colder, cools down your evaporator, and cools you the fuck down, because that's why it should do. So we fixed the fan in the hot side and we'll be removing the radiator because we really just don't need that. We'll be replacing this radiator with a water block that basically just has two outlets, which is here and here. That's where the hot gas goes in and instead of cooling down via radiator, we have water going in and the water will cool it down and hot water will come out here. And this is good for things like literally nothing. Just kidding. It's good for things like heating your pool, your hot tub. The energy can be used a lot easier when it's in water. We cannot leave that on there. We gotta remove that. At least people washing their hands will be able to learn something new. Okay, the AC cycle on the computer. Uh, uh, there's a man in it. Okay, I can understand it. All right, here's our liquid liquid heat exchanger. I'll remove all the caps. All right, we'll be using this liquid liquid heat exchanger, and we're just gonna tape one side. As a horrible replacement for Teflon tape, we'll be using this electrical tape, and I don't even know if this will work, but I'm gonna give it a shot. Now I'll connect up the female to female 3 4 of an inch connector, along with a 3 4 inch male to a 1 4 inch female connector, and that will just sit on top there. Now we'll have our 1 4 inch male to 1 4 inch tubing, and that will just go right here. And I'll take the other side of the heat exchanger with our beloved electrical tape and screw on the other fitting. As you can see, this is going better than planned. All right, I put both fittings on and it's about ready to be cooked up to the AC unit. 
I'm gonna mount it right here. Now what I have here is a straighter valve from a bike and that goes into a T-fitting. And then this part right here will connect to the compressor over here. This is the compressor high side. And that will just connect there. And then this part right here, that'll connect to the heat exchanger. And now we'll have another tube running from the other side of the heat exchanger to the capillary tube here. These are hose clamps and they're actually really useful because they've got a tab on the end that lets you do it with your fingers and not a screwdriver. I shortened the tubes a little bit so now they'll all fit inside the AC unit. Let's connect this other tube up and this is the filling port right here. All tightened up. I think we should fill the system and try it out. These are our cooling tubes and they have a hose fitting here and the hose fitting just happens to fit this one too. So we're gonna screw them on. There we go. See if the water flows through it. And we've got water. Perfect. I'm going to be using R134A to fill the system. Now, this is all just temporary. As you can see, I am using plastic tubes, but really I have no budget to buy copper tubes or any of that stuff. And this is just version one. This is just proof of concept to make sure this actually works. I don't even know if this is going to work. I'm going to hook up the spigot, which is just a bank valve, and I'll pressurize the system. All right, let's see if it turns on. Ooh, there's liquid in there. Yeah! It's going through, it's working. It's cooling, it's cooling. It's working, holy crap. Oh, you can see, you can see the, you can see it condensating on here. You can see the, yeah, this is warm. Turning to liquid right here. And the water box is getting hot. Let's turn on the water. Perfect. Yeah, the water's warm. There it is. We made a liquid cooled AC. It's getting colder in here. Oh my god. It's actually working. All right, so I've jammed the fan with a tool and we're gonna see this thing ice up. We have refrigerant flowing right here and refrigerant condensating right here. You can see it's icing up. Ooh, I can feel the cold emanating off this. I'm actually super surprised at how well this electrical tape instead of Teflon tape worked. So there's always that. I guess you can use electrical tape instead of Teflon tape if you put enough torque on the fittings. Unfortunately, I did not bring my thermometer, but I can tell you that the water going in and the water coming out is at least 10 degrees difference. And the small room that I'm filming in has dropped by at least five or 10 degrees. And that's just from having this on for five minutes. The temperature of the air in here is like 75 and what's coming out feels like 60 or 65. I can also tell it's moving a ton of heat because this side of the water block is notably warm. All these other fittings right here where it's not cooled are actually really warm. This tube right here feels like it's about 110 degrees. Pretty warm. So in this video we successfully created a water cooled AC unit and I'm pretty proud of this because I've been wanting to do this for a while. So I hope you guys liked it. In my next AC video, I'll be turning this thing to a split unit, so I'll show you guys how to do that. I'll see you guys next time.